Yo, what's up guys? Um, today we're gonna talk about Infinity Comps in Hydra. At the moment I'm on stage, like on the normal stage, because I feel comfortable there. And maybe I can do more, but that's probably the, the first aim for everybody. Just go on normal and try it out there if you wanna do it. In this video I'm gonna like explain you the rules, the, the way to approach it and stuff like that. So, what I recommend is this team right here. Of course, you need your Brogni and your Cadaver. And I think Lydia is like the best spot in here. Maybe a Michinaki could be okay in here too. But I think Lydia is better because of increased speed. And just um, keep in mind, every buff, uh, every buff you use in this comp will stay the whole time. So if you bring increased speed, it will stay the whole time. So that's why Lydia, I think, is a little bit better than just the Michinaki. But you take whatever you want. And you need those two champions plus your... Decrease defense, weaken, let's just say Lydia. And you need your uh, three buff extenders. But there are more ways to just do it. In my case, I have a Krisk, that's nice, and two buff extenders. But the, the next most wanted thing you, you need is Hex. That is like a must have, and it will be so much better. You could do it without it. But the damage is way lower. We just I have no comparison right now, but it is way lower. If you don't have like a good cursed set, just go ahead and farm cursed set before you do something. But for the three buff extenders, there's like you, you can approach it a little bit different because it is not like fixed fixed. You need three. In my case, I have three buff extenders right there. But the team I use, for example, where is she? Has a Yumeko in there. One is great, two is like the best thing. Um, le let me say what would be the best team. The best team would be two Yumekos plus a Crisp in Cursed Set. That would be like the best outcome. And if you can't like do it, you can go for the three buff extenders. Like, let me show you like that again. Like the three buff extenders is okay. You don't, you don't even need a Crisp, but Crisp makes it more easy because you have like the that one champion that that resists the buff steals, you know, and yeah, if your buffs get stolen, that's like a super, super bad thing in this case. So I can, for example, skip all the resistance on my team. Like usually your cadaver, you want um, more resistance on him because he will be the target at some point. So keep that in mind. You also need like to avoid the buff stealing and you can, you can use a couple tricks like one maybe in i don't know in <laughs> can you extend uh stone skin <laughs> i don't think so but you know what i mean there are tricks to get like your um, mischief tank out there and that's what you kind of need but when you have chris that's like the best outcome so three buff extenders or, or you can use a yumeko just one reset guy but it's not only yumeko you can use an emic or you could use a renegade in here. I, I do believe a renegade fits perfectly in here because everybody is on a three turn cooldown. So a renegade would exactly do the same, but keep in mind you cannot use like two renegades and they will like reset each other like two Yumekos or something. Nah, it's just then it's just two buff extenders plus a reset guy. But if you use a reset guy, in my case, my Emic would be not be okay right now because he's too slow. If you put one reset champion in there, he needs to be like super fast, like, wait, I'm gonna show you my Yumeko. Maybe she's a little bit too fast, but your reset champion should go way faster than your the, the rest of your team. And I'm gonna like explain you um the rotation and yeah, who goes first and stuff like that in a second. But if you use a reset champion, you can just use it in very high speed and that's that's really nice. I think Emic is really nice in there because he gets the taunt on himself, makes him to a mischief ta uh, mischief target and you could use him in instead. But I'm gonna use my Yumeko because like, yeah, I, I wanna do the good stuff. But like, yeah, keep in mind, you can do it the other way. It's just taking a little bit longer because you don't have reset. So, um, Let's go about um, rotation, who goes fastest, la uh, who goes slowest and stuff. So my um, Lydia is in 270 speed, so she goes first. Then my Brogni goes on the, f the highest speed, it's 245. And from there on you just go your buff extenders just behind your Brogni. Just 
my Crisk right here is one speed slower than my Brogni. And the other buff extender right here is also a couple speeds behind Brogni. And in my case, yeah, you just saw I use a Yumeko, but if you go for a third buff extender, just use uh, yeah, some speeds behind your Brogni and you should be okay. And yeah, Kadaver needs to be your slowest. My my team goes like a 250 speed around that. My Yumiko is faster, but the rest of the team is like 250. So I went 220, around 220 on my um, Kadaver. And he always gets the buff extended. And sometimes it's, it's kind of a little bit janky on your other champions because like, for example, my Yumiko goes so fast, she will run out buffs. And you will you never want that to be happening on your Kadaver because he's mo the most important. So he's just the slowest, but still he needs to have like decent speed. You cannot go like 180 and you still can go go for 180, that's possible. But yeah, if you can go faster, it's not, not nothing that will hurt you or something. That's what I mean. So um but I also gonna check, um, tell you the sets and stuff because they are like important. She's just fast and has has like reset. That's like another big big like thing you want is like reset accessories or something like that because yeah okay reset uh, accessories they will just not hurt you at all and it's like super nice. He's in lethal gear and as much damage you can pump in him. He is everything. When your Brogni is not good um, on gear, your whole team is bad. If he like goes all over the board and has the most damage in your in your account, and keep in mind, you can just swip, let's watch your, um, sw uh, switch around your gear on your Brogni, do your run and just switch it back so that's what i do like i have like gear in here that's usually on other champions but i'm using in here so um he's just lethal and you wanna have <sighs> ham smasher you just want damage 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 and war master and stuff is just not counting as like damage so that's what you need on him I have not even booked his skill right here, but we use it just once or so, so that doesn't even matter. Krisk, he's like one of the most important thing on my my run. Like, but keep in, keep in mind that you can just switch around an Anchorite or something. That I think like Anchorite is one of the best in Cursed set right now, so you use him or Anchorite or do whatever you, you want. You can use a Cursed set on your Lydia. I, do not use it on my Lydia, but you can use it. It's, to be honest, it's kind of recommended to use it on your Lydia, but I use my Lydia in other areas, so I want that shield set, so whatever. So um, it's okay for my set, So, but you don't need a shield set on like any on your champions in this thing. So keep in mind, you don't need a shield set. So Krisk, he's like a speed behind my Brogni, cursed set and resistance as high as I could go. It's just normal, so it's not so big. So I, I put my uh, Kadaver not in resistance because I have a Crisp. But if you have a Crisp and uh, you don't have a Crisp, use resistance on him. I do not, I do not know what's normal for, for normal. I think it's 300. So you should really aim for 300 resistance. You don't want that buff to be stolen. And I gave him retaliation sets, so it makes the run a little bit smoother because he sometimes counter attacks and yeah, you, you get the, the heads down faster. So that's why I gave him that set. But yeah, if you don't have like Chris, just yeah, maybe retaliation, but resistance focused because just speed and uh, resistance would matter on him. Nothing else, nothing else matters. So keep that in mind. We gotta check on our headspawn. He's not even fully leveled and stuff, but it's okay. Because he's just using his skill right here. And keep a note, increase crit rate. That's why I don't have full crit rate on my Brogni, but he comes in place and places the increased crit rate. An uh, Anchorite is better. I think he's like um, more crit rate plus a crit damage and AOE on the A1. So he would be better in that spot. He would be like my replacement if I had him. But so we got increased crit rate and he is just there to um, extend the buffs. So that's why I gave him Reflex. 
do not use uh, Relentless. You could use it, but on the champion you use it, you have to keep in mind that that champion will run out of buffs and that could maybe fail your run. You could use it on buff extenders, but those buff extenders will lose their own buffs sometimes. So it's not like recommended. It's like an emergency set if you don't have a reflex, but reflex is like the recommended stuff if you just go for buff extending and nothing else. Like So just do it over and over. Who's missing? Lydia. So I, I got a shield set on her, but recommended, recommended is just a hex set. If you use a hex set, it's just better for your whole run. And yeah, that's the recommendation. And I have shield set only because I use like seer combos. So if I wouldn't use her in other areas in the game, there wouldn't be a shield set because you don't need a shield set on any of your champions. Because you get, in my, in my case, wait, 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 if you have Krisk. <laughs> Then you don't need a shield set because he places the shield and then Brogni places the shield and you're gonna just extend that one. But if you don't have a Krisk, then you probably should use like a shield set. Or you don't actually need a shield set just on Lydia. You could just use, a, where is he? Like a divine set, like right here, I have one that gives him a shield so you will just extend that one instead of a Krisk shield and then you as you, you go for that shield right here plus the Brogni shield and you're gonna extend them so you, basically you just need like a minimum of two shields and if you use it if you use a Krisk you get one anyway and if you don't use a Krisk you will get one by just the gear set so um you can just use that one instead of like a whole shield set and everybody has two shields Be, nah, just your your cadaver needs a sh two shields and the rest of your team is not so important for normal maybe later on if you go hard and and brutal and stuff maybe yeah you want maybe double shield on all your champions because yeah so you can actually take more damage hey that's it's gonna be a long-winded like um video but i want to just keep it right and if you have like anything i i'm saying wrong or like recommendations and stuff i'm not an expert in this i'm just gonna tell you what i did and yeah maybe you got some ideas and, and stuff so just keep that in mind go go ahead in the comments and just let me know what you think so chris can curse that he's in free reflex that um you make goes just really fast but yeah i can use a dimifer in there i would just use a reflex set on her if i would use it or i can use a renegade i could use a emic just they need to be like faster than the rest of your team and he's in retaliation brogni is in just damage and that's the whole thing you want to like aim for and lydia you should go for a cursed set but you can also go for a shield set or something like that because it doesn't matter too much like cursed set is nice but if you don't have one just go ahead and use whatever you want and yeah um the thing is right now on the start it can go wrong a couple times for me because my my yumiko and my Krisk have the same buffs so i will start the, the battle if the head goes the wrong way and, and decides to steal the buffs from my yumiko i'm out let's go into it let's do it like um it is possible that we can restart a couple times because yeah it's rng based so keep that in mind so yumiko is just gonna do whatever she do can place that one because we want the increased speed right now and we want to use the shield the increased attack on your um brockney is super important you want to keep that up the whole time if you lose it once because most of the time your brockney gets eaten then um just do it again you know increase our buffs two times if you have three they should all go now like behind brockney the turn order is super important, so keep that really in mind. We're gonna attack him once. Now it's important who's who's gonna steal like the buffs from. And it's gonna be Yumeko. We gotta restart. So um you saw like the order. I'm gonna just do it a couple times like that. I'm gonna target that guy, use my auto settings until the boss don't steals from my Yumeko, because Yumeko has the same buffs as um Chris. 
So here we go. He tried to <coughs> steal from Chris, so he, he does not gain any buffs. So we will put like that. Yeah, we got a little bit unlucky, but that's okay. So we're gonna use one time the the big skill and Leah. Like I said, Rogni is like the the most important thing in your team. Make him super damage. The whole damage in your whole account. Just go for it and just switch around back later. Gonna place the hex on him. That's why Yumiko is a little bit better than Renegade, but yeah, I think Renegade should be totally fine in here. Of course, he needs like some kind of um, uh, HP generation by life drinking or something because yeah, he, yeah, he's gonna lose HP while he uses his skills. So yeah, I walk. Well, come on, <laughs> I want the decrease. Um, defense and stuff because your first goal is just to kill one head like who's like the weakest for you so you can just go ahead and for example kill that one he's gonna put a shield right now up but that's okay that's kind of what i was suspecting and we're gonna now kill trying to kill that one because he is super annoying too so he got true fear again That's like the, the most problem if the blue heads is gonna start, so um, you gotta keep that in mind. So you gotta restart probably a couple times, so it's just how it is. We're gonna increase the hex a little bit more so we can actually target it more. Gonna attack him now. Yes. So, um, yeah. We are trying to increase the um shield and the best shield gain is by killing those heads and get the most damage out of it so also you you cannot do it on on auto because your team will always um attack like downed heads so you won't get the damage so that one is probably soon broken like decapitated so we got our um counter attack from him that's why i gave him the, the set so he can just do sometimes a little bit damage on those heads who are actually attacking and we're gonna do like that i think we should get a reset soon and my chris is only doing a2 and a1 the, the whole time but you you will see it you gotta do it on full manual so um yeah like i know it got the increase come on yes and who we gonna attack now um i think him yeah he does yeah he doesn't have the shield so now we get one time of like bigger damage that's nice that's what you want to see and we're gonna increase the buffs hex who doesn't have hex he does he does he does no he doesn't so you get the hex because hex you want it so, um, yeah, we're gonna attack you. And yes, you're gonna attack him. Yes. The shield is, is grown already a little bit. Yes. So he's gonna attack you too. And next one is this guy. And I think I won't attack him until we got like, ah, okay, maybe probably we're gonna down him soon and yeah we're gonna attack him too we want him down so um, we're gonna do the double attack on him just maybe we get the war master and we will attack him too he's probably down in a second he's got hex so we can just he's gonna be killed now by by hex so i will just attack him Ah, he got down too. That's nice. We don't have the skill right now. That's probably okay. We're gonna just use attack him. him. And whoever right now. The first step is just to make your cadaver one-shotting people. Gonna use it like that. Get the increase. Yes. And reset is coming afterwards. That's nice. We don't actually... Do we need a hex? Yeah, we do need a hex on him. And yeah, um, we're gonna kill him. 
and we're gonna use our big attack now is the shield growth now like you gotta kill those heads or nothing's gonna happen too soon gonna reset so it's gonna do the same thing in a second too and i really do like that you can use a renegade in there i probably make another video where i just use a renegade and yeah we're gonna attack him because he got a hex and see you see the damage already it's almost half so that's nice we're gonna do this one more in here super nice and yeah we're gonna attack him and yeah increased buffs so um also he's getting eaten at at one point and then it's totally rng like who gets eaten next if anybody else then your cadaver is the focus on the next one it is okay if if he's the target it's gonna be like tricky super tricky so you kind of want to avoid that and maybe you want to restart um i'm gonna kill him hex on that dude um because he does not have anything we're gonna attack him so first thing is just downing those heads um yeah i think he's gonna die yes nice and yeah i should have attacked him just to make it a little bit more easy but i think we are already in like a good situation where we can just yeah let's attack him why not um yeah So you always should like keep like track of your buffs like you want that increase attack all the time you want those two shields all the time and you should be good and who are we gonna target him he will ignore the bam he's like the the head with the most defense so he won't get like one shot he's the last one who get one shot and yeah here we go can we actually do a big attack now I hope so in a second. Ah, we got one head back. That's okay. Whatever. Gonna do the big attack anyway because that's all we want. Let's see how good it is. Ah, it's not already one shot. Gonna attack this guy because at this point I think I will just use Cadaver now to one shot everyone. Gonna reset. Gonna increase the buffs. Ah, he got up before, it's kind of unfortunately, but it's just how it is, it's just how it is. Yeah, um, this head is like the most troublemaker, I would try to put the hex on him, but most of the time it doesn't. So we will kill him now. Yes, now we got the most troublemaker out of the way, like, I think next turn he's coming up, he will get downed in a, like, in one shot and yeah who we gonna attack at this point i think it's just cadaver anymore who i'm actually just focusing super high he got everybody got like the the buff where they cannot take too much damage so it, sometimes it doesn't even matter if you attack him with your brogni or something so at this point i'm just using a little bit damage on the fallen head because they all have that buff I could use attacks on now on him because he does not have the attacks at the boss but cadaver just ignoring it so to be honest we can just maybe is he gonna ah not quite not there but it's okay whatever um yeah he's gonna get down anyway we're gonna attack him a little bit because he is a little more bit more tricky to kill does he have the hex now that's nice we're gonna use that for the war master um yeah attack him and you gonna do ah just damage it's just weak ah no weak attack that's nice ah they lost the debuffs but you gonna die anyway ah he didn't <laughs> so and you gonna do that one and from this point it's kind of clear what i'm doing like i'm getting up my damage and you're gonna get the hex i'm trying to one shot people 
and that's actually what you try and aim for and from that point everything will change can we actually one shot you yes <laughs> nice so at this point we can just target uh, the downed heads on our other teams because like um cadaver will always kill so we got the big boost now increase um bam ah that's nice and we're gonna kill you now and from this point now on that's phase two when you one shot people you just kill every head and then you focus only on respawning heads on your cadaver which has the most turn meter that's the only thing that matters because you wanna like that that buff right here you never wanted to go it more down if you can because you will just one one head spawns you kill it the next head spawns you kill it and that shouldn't be go down at all in the best case but you want to just avoid it to go down like at all like um it can go down and my progeny probably will get eaten at this point but that's okay because i'm focusing only on the heads with the highest turn meter that means that they will mostly not take a turn anymore sometimes like every 100 turns i go they maybe take one turn and that's okay but you just wanna like um yeah like i said just focus on the head who's respawning and has the most turn meter most of the time they're coming in a double pack like two will spawn then next on two different ones and so on and yeah let's go a little bit more so you can, i can give you actually an example and then i probably will cut to the end or something because yeah it, it, you know the basics and then you will see what's just gonna happen so um right now he's taking a turn and no head is up so that's kind of unfortunately but you're just gonna do damage somewhere yeah sorry for the background background noises but yeah you can't avoid it <laughs> that's society so he came back and he came back so from this point now you will just look at the turn meter who got who's got more and at this point just on your cadaver i mean so you take a turn until your cadaver comes and yeah let's do damage on him We got a third one so right now like we are not like totally in rotation right now because i probably will not like one shot now but who's got the most um like him. i think it's a one shot yes i got one shot of him <clears throat> that's nice so we will just rotate back and we'll kill him and next one he is the, the target and in the meantime we will just use our brogni and increase and increase and, and increase the shield and yeah so um increase the shield want to try to kill him didn't work but it's okay like i said my progeny will probably get eaten but well whatever and we will reset here sometimes maybe i can just avoid the so decrease defense and stuff but i'm just getting used to just do it and all uh, just doing it all the time when it's up yeah my brockney got eaten but that's okay because you get freed in a second because i would just do that one and right here you gotta keep in mind you gotta um <coughs> wait you have to replace your increase attack that's super important <clears throat> because Brogni is all about Brogni's damage and you don't want to have less damage that's it so you have to avoid one turn now even you, if you have your big attack that does not matter you're gonna go for the increase attack again so can I actually do it along now um why is he not taking a turn so we gotta replace that one it's super important increase attack you need you just need to replace it and you're good and let's go ahead and attack nobody we go a little bit more because we're not like quite in the one shot area 
of every head and if we reach it i will just cut to the end and will show you just show you like it's gonna be bigger and bigger and bigger over time of course and yeah let's go attack a head who actually takes good damage and increase it and still no head up come on guys get your ass up <laughs> So 900,000 damage right now, so I think it was like 1.5 or so for the hardest one. And yeah. Come on, let's, let's go into... Yes. Uh, that feels nice. So, but I gotta check. Increase attack is 2. So it's like in a weird situation, but it's still okay. We got the shield on 5 and 4. That's super good and yeah but just the increase attack on my progeny i gotta keep an eye out for that because he maybe can lose it because we got like resets and not like every time uh i i gotta keep an eye on on it and who we gonna kill first he's the faster one and yeah that's it at this point we're not like um attacking anymore the heads of like the living heads because it wouldn't matter anyway they're gonna die one shot every time and yes and maybe if you have like super insane damage then you can use full auto with hex and like later later i mean like really later if you stack up your damage really really high you could just down those heads by having hex damage it's just an idea it wouldn't be probably too reliable but I, you can kill like another um, head while having hex and both get downed at the same time it's just possible so we gotta aim for that one now and yeah that will probably my key for the week and I hope it's gonna be a little bit more damage than last time so I finished my run and I'm not gonna lie it's exactly the same team like in the video but just my Lydia I changed to um a cursed set so i can lay more hexes out there because the mischief tank is the most troublemaker in all of that so i'm gonna explain you how to handle the mischief tank if you use crisk if you have him and you use like uh, reset and another buff extender but you have crisk there is no need of a mischief tank because he is the mischief tank but you gotta avoid like a Demifa, for example right next to him with the block damage skill that actually gives everybody a continuous heal every time it is cast so every so if you have Chris he's the mischief tank but if you lay out more buffs from another champion and everybody gets on 10 buffs you are basically having no mischief tank anymore so you gotta have your mischief tank if you don't have Chris and you have three buff extenders then you use um, no shield set at all on the whole team and you give um, cadaver like a, a gear set which gives him a shield like divine speed and all those divine sets so he actually got two buffs <coughs> like two shields and everybody just got one shield that's what you're gonna do on normal and then is then he is automatically the, the mischief tank but you gotta have um, resistance and of course your, your your run is a little bit more risky to fail because um yeah you can get your buff stolen from your cadaver by the three percent and then your run is over and you're kind of out of it you know how that is so if you have a chris it's super nice if you um then just use them if you don't have one go for divine speed and no shields on the other champions like i think you can you should even avoid but I'm not too sure about it. The, the rings and accessories who actually give you a shield. Maybe you gotta avoid it, maybe not. But so on the end, everybody got one shield and Cadaver got, got two shields and automatically you have the, the buffs in, uh, will be increased the whole time. So he automatically got one, one buff more than the others. And that's how you handle it. It will take a little bit longer, but <coughs> that's the most troublemaking thing ever. And renegade and emic like um 
Renegade and then Yumeko should be the same, like 300 something speed and stuff, like oh, go ham. And if you have an Emic, he just should go like faster than your buff extenders. And you want to make, uh, want to cast the taunt buff on himself. That taunt buff will actually not make him a mischief tank, I think. Like the taunt buff does not like interact with the attack from the the head who's actually aiming for the guy with the most buffs so i think that's not good but he automatically has one more buff so you can use then a shield set so everybody has the same amount on buffs uh, on shields but emic got automatically the taunt buff it, it is mo one more that makes him to a mischief tank and then you 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 got it on the end so the mischief tank can be outplayed by those rules and those are really really important so Let's go into my key. I got yeah two point yeah, let's say two point two billion damage. It is nice. It's not the best in the world. I'm not trying to make world records. I'm just like making my thing. Maybe I should go on hard or something to gain more, but because it's multiplied by two. But hey, on the end it's pretty nice. I like it and I will take it and yeah. And like you see, um my cadaver like did more damage than it should be but not like it should be of course you, you know what i mean a cadaver shouldn't be able to do something like that but he did 1.2 billion damage and m most of his damage got spread and like yumeko and krisk and because they lay out hexes and my lydia they do more damage than they like supposed to do i never did millions of damage on my yumeko but the spreading from the damage was just coming in and make the damage so high and yeah that's my key at the 2.2 billion i'm pretty happy with it and i i hope i could explain it's a really long video i know but i i, I hope i was able to give you all the informations you need to do something like that if you have your brogni and you want to do it because plarium kind of said they never gonna change it like maybe it's sticking around forever maybe not i hope I hope personally it's gonna be fixed because it's like more cool for the community you can get your other teams out there and stuff but that on the end is just yeah one-sided teams out there can do that and every other team is like not good and yeah so um that's the end of the video I hope I will see you in the next one and yeah have a nice day